I want to welcome everyone. Today we want to write the bearing of X from Y and Y from X for this diagram. But there are certain things that you should note. The first one is what we call alternate angle. If you have two parallel lines and these two parallel lines are crossed by a straight line called transversa, it has formed a kind of Z angle this way. So this is Z angle. And on a Z angle, this angle is the same thing as this angle. That's what you call alternate angle. So alternate angles, they are the same. So if you flip this Z, it can also look like this way, N. Just flip it a little bit. So you have this angle. If this one is X, this also is X. So this type of angle is referred to as alternate angle. So you should note this. Now, let's now look at this one. What is the bearing of X from Y? This is X. What is the bearing of this X from this one, Y? So if you look at it from the north to this place, that is 56 degree. So 56 degree is the answer for that. So you write it this way because we are using three digit uh, bearing or true bearing or severe method. So now let's look at the second one. What is the bearing of Y from X? So let's extend this very well. So what you will do is just put your X here. And at this point, you draw your cardinal signifying the knot. So you can extend this line down. For proper understanding. So if you look at this, this is Z angle. Look this way. So this is Z angle. From here to here is 56. According to the alternate angle rule, this also is 56. Alternate angle. Then you are looking for the Y from X. So this is X. Yeah. So since you are looking for the bearing of Y from X, then the bearing of X will be from here. To this place and you know that from here to this place is 180 degree angle on the straight line this is 180 degree then from here to this place is an extra uh, angle so which is 56 you add it together 6 plus 0 6 8 plus 5 13 remainder 1 1 plus 1 2 so for the second one this is 2 136 degree. For the sake of clarity, let's look at this other example. What is the bearing of X from Y? The bearing of X from Y is just this place from here to this place. That's 156. Very simple. Now, what is the bearing of Y from X? So in this case, what you will do is draw your cardinal. Signify your knot. Then extend this line here. By extending this place, you discover that you have formed Z angle. This is Z angle. So this angle is the same thing as this angle. But the question is, what is this angle? You know that from here to this place is 180. I'm going to straight line. So this one, this angle will be 180 minus 156 and that is 34 degree so this angle is 34 degree and according to the alternate angle this one is 34 degree this also is 34 degree now since you have gotten that is the bearing of y from x so the bearing is from here to this place and now you ask yourself, what will that value be? From here to here is 180. From here to this place also is 180, making 360. So, which means from here to this place and to this place is 360 degree, angle at a point. 
Now, but here, this one is not up to 360 because it remains 34 here before you get to 360 degree. So remove that 34. You have six, you have two, then you have three. So, which means the bearing of y from x is 326.